Kawada-san talks about a productivity miracle and I think you're suggesting maybe there's a better name. What would you call it if you were teaching what Dr. Kawada-san is teaching? Only miracle. Only miracle. Here's, here's my two questions now. Number one, you said you chose thirsty people. Were they at different levels in the organization or were they your regular directors? Uh, they were regular directors I choose from worker level and the uh, VP level it uh, depends uh, how I uh, trust them and how uh, after many years working with them uh, I um, know them uh, I want uh, I wanted to be bigger team. I wanted uh, I want the team to be digger, digging around yeah, about okay. all the topics they found. Okay, good, good. So you were looking for the criteria in the individual that says, I want more. Thirsty means I, I want to dig for more solutions and they have to have that curiosity. Yes. Okay, very good. Number two, do you think this would have worked with Kawada-san if... It was anybody else other than the big guy at the top, which is you, the managing director. <laughs> Do you think anybody else could have done this other than you in your company? In the beginning, no. But now I never do anything without consulting with my team, with management team. Oh, very good. Um, Okay, so when you first met Kawada, what was the reservation? Did you have any uh, reservations about engaging him? Uh, did anything say, let's see how it goes? Or did you just jump in and do it? Uh, sometimes you are eating pizza and you decide to eat lasagna. But sometimes you are as much as hungry that you can eat your hand. I was in this situation. I had no way. The only solution was to uh, find out something. So uh, we, it was in the beginning, it was miracle. We, realized that uh, he is consulting Toyota company and he has 50 years um, background to make Toyota uh, more productive. So when we started with Professor Kovada, he told us I don't have experience in field of chemicals, but I can give you the uh, point of view. Then you can realize how you can make it workable and you can make it localized in Iraq. Wow. Okay, so that didn't stop you at all, knowing his experience with Toyota was 50 years, uh, but nothing to do with your industry. He just said, look, you, you take the knowledge and you transfer it to your industry. And you were okay with that. Yes, 100%. Oh, good. Okay. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, mm -hmm. when you engaged Kawada-san, did he meet your expectations? What number would you give him? Uh, uh, it is kind of joking, but more than 100%. Okay. <laughs> it is 11. But okay. So, I still want to talk about the gap mm -hmm. from 10 to 11 or 12 or 15 or 100. What was the extra? What was what was the extra things that, that Dr. Kawada did that said, wow, way over the top? Uh, first of all, profit. It is uh, much more than my expectation uh, right now. Even week by week, even today, when I check the profit of company, Still, it is increasing, and uh, it is kind of miracle for me. Uh, the reason is we are 
uh, buying better. In the beginning, we were customer of our supply chain. But now, we are kind of shareholder of our um, supply chain. In the beginning, always we bargain for decreasing the price. But now, we are helping them. We are investing in our supply chain companies. We sometimes we are helping them for um, developing their knowledge. Sometimes we give them machinery. Sometimes we are consulting them to be more productive. So our supply chain team is our uh, family right now. In the beginning, we were only a customer. Then we, came, we became a very good customer. Then we became critical customer. And now we are working as a family. We have lots of interest with each other. And uh, newly, uh, we will become shareholder, shareholder of lots of our uh, raw material manufacturers. We started to invest on them.